We're live. Hey. Ah, 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 ah. Hey. It's KFL. And we in the lab. <laughs> we might be cooking or doing some arts and crafts. Hey. What's up, guys? Happy New Year. Happy New Year. It's 2021. 2021. We're still in the pandemic. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, today we celebrate Dr. Martin Luther the King, the great King. man, yes, King Day, yes. yes, it's the holiday, so he had a dream, and we have dreams as well, so we're doing a dream board today, or a vision board, yeah, same thing, so, uh, I did uh, actually, I posted one of my post memories came up on Facebook, and um, I did this ten years ago. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. So it's kind of like a tradition. I, this will be my fourth dream board. Um, the key is you need to make sure you put your dream board somewhere where you can see it every day. So my first dream board, I put it somewhere. I want to say I put it right by the door, so every time I left out the house, it was right there. Okay. So, I, I actually achieved quite a few of those dreams. But this last, and then I lost one dream board because I took it to school. Uh, I was teaching a summer camp, and I took it, and I think I lost it. I don't know what happened to it. It disappeared. It was cute, too. Um, and then this is my third dream board. I, I put it in my office, and I don't ever look at it because I don't ever go in there. And it's behind the door. So, see, it has to be perfect. Yeah, so I'm just going to start fresh. So, I do want to share. This is the very first one I did. I want to say I, I did this when I was 35, and it was supposed to be from 35 to 40, I think. Yeah, so I know my main goal was to earn my degree. So I got my doctorate in 2010. Okay. So I think I did this like 2015. So, I mean, 2005. Okay. Right? Because I did it in 2005 because I was graduating in 2010. So I needed some motivation to get, get myself out and get it done. So um, I did put travel because I hadn't really traveled then either. So I started traveling. I tried to do, start doing an international location once a year um yeah but i put all my inspirational stuff at the top i got let go let god the search of peace inspiration some prayers at the top of my board and they say you're supposed to put a picture of yourself on the board also so that's a picture of me when i was fine back in the day um in chicago chi -town. I had went to the Taste of Chicago with uh, Sepia and Tommy. And, um, yeah, so uh, I was trying to get back to that fineness, so that's why I chose that picture. Um, and at the time, I had some dreams of having children and being married. Of course, that didn't happen, but I'm okay with it at this point. I'm at peace with it. <laughs> it's no longer a requirement. My age is, uh, you know, I'm... I'm Two years from 50 at this point. So, um, but I did get my degree. I did start traveling more. Um, I did throw the party of the year uh, in uh, 2010 and in 2013. Y'all yeah, remember that. Um, debt free, you know, I've been really good um, on my finances within the last decade. Um, I'm still going to hit the lotto, though. I still got that $17.25 million. So, if I up and just disappear on social media altogether, and y'all don't hear from me and don't see me for about a year or two, that means I hit the lot. I, I'm at an undisclosed location. <laughs> All right. Um, and then find a new job. I did uh, move shift jobs. Um, lose 20 pounds. I've lost maybe half of that. Um, and then these are creative things. So this was the money section. This was the family section. The goals of travel. God. Health and wellness. And these are just other things like being a diva, you know, remaining fabulous, you know, as I am. So, um, Kay, you want to so tell them about? 
I um, don't have any of mine either because I left them at school. House and ever. Um, I'm going to dream more. Well, I don't have any, like, to show. Oh, okay. So I'm going to be starting from scratch, so everything's just going to be um, done today. But I have had dream boards. This will be, I believe, my third dream board. I think the first one was, like, dreams, and the second one I did was more, like, on a fitness uh, goal, so I'm going to have to find them somewhere in school and put them up. So my goal is to put them um, in my room to... Um, signify the dreams and the goals that I'm going to be uh, reaching for 2021. So my dream board might be a little short-term goal because I want to reach them um, within the next two years. So my dream board is going to be a short-term goal dream board, whereas friends might be. I think mine's going to be short-term, too. Okay. Mm -hmm. Short-term dream board. So. Yeah. Hey, Patty McGrew. She said, I'm going to find you. Okay, all right, come on, girl. So that's the goal today is to do dream boards. So, yeah. you know, again, it's the Martin Luther King Day. So we are doing, I have a dream board. So you guys are welcome to join in. If y'all send it in, y'all like, questions, comments, y'all can hit us up in the chat and we'll do our best to answer any questions that you guys have. All right, so the materials that you will need, if you don't know about dream boards, what you will need uh, to complete a good dream or vision board is um, scissors. Scissors. All right. So, uh, glue. <laughs> All right. Uh, color pencils or markers or crayons, whichever you prefer. Um, these are really good if you want to kind of spruce up your board if you don't have any of those things. As well as the board itself. Yeah. So, I have a black board. This one is a foam board. I got this board at the Dollar Tree. The Dollar Tree for a dollar. They sell the foam boards as well as the poster boards in black and in white. So you can get black or white. I chose black. So I'm going to do white because the two dream boards I've done in the past have been black. Uh, but I also do have a little black uh, poster board that I may add to mine. So, Kay and I have been going through magazines. That's the hardest part about dream boards. Um, you kind of have ideas of what you want to do. That's your first thing you should do is just make a list of all the goals you want to achieve within the window of time. Like I said, ours is going to be for the next two years. We have milestone birthdays in two years from now. So, uh, Kay will be 40 and I'll be 50 in two years. So, that'll be what, 2022? Yeah, so why you just say it like that though? Don't say it like that. Be, be, be blessed. We blessed, honey. It's people out there that didn't, people yeah. out there didn't make it to 40 and 50, okay? Well, absolutely. Honey, um, the Corona times, you know, we, we had a lot of loss. So I'm I'm blessed and happy to be here. Hey, hey, hey. So my our boys are going to be a two year span, but of course, you know, we'll have some long term goals on there too, I think. Yeah, I'm into it. So, All right, so the longest part was just. Cut up magazines. So yes. Or if you don't have magazines, you know, you can draw if you are an artist. You can, you can type, draw, type print it out. out. Yeah. Print out inspirational words, uh, quotes, that anything that's gonna get you motivated to achieve your goals. Um, so I think what I did was um, I always try to even I didn't do any resolutions this year, but um what's up it? Yeah, correct. Okay. Uh, I was hearing things. I know, but I, I was hearing something over there. I don't know. Okay. You know I'm easily distracted. I got ADHD. So anyway, um, so I always try to do something with wealth. Okay. Wealth is important. Wealth is important. Not to say that if you're rich, you don't have no problems. Because big is saying more money, more problems, right? Um, but you don't want to be struggling either. I hear you. You see what I'm saying? Because, mm -hmm. I mean, that could stress you out. Physically, you know what I'm saying? Mentally. So I always have a, a good wealth, even if it's just to be debt free. You know, I, I do have some student loans from a doctor degree, but right. other than that, you know, I try not to accrue, you know, credit card debt, stuff like that. Right. So I want to maintain the wealth. Um, my second thing is health. This is not in any particular order. Not that I feel like my wealth is more important than my health. <laughs> Um, but all those who go and uh, watch episodes of K and Fab in the past know I'm diabetical. So 
you know, it is, uh, hasn't given me any major issues, praise God, hallelujah. But, you know, it's a constant struggle on me, you know, eating the right thing, because I do have a sweet tooth. So, health is one focus I want to focus on. Spirituality is a third focus. You know, just um, keeping in tune with God, you know, being prayerful. Uh, I do want to get into meditation. That's something I haven't delved into. Um, Balance. Calm. <laughs> yeah, so I want to um, look into that, even possibly some yoga, uh, which also ties into the physical fitness, which I don't do any of. I started going back to my chiropractor. I go to this. I don't tell y'all where to go to the chiropractor, but my uh, chiropractor is a young Jamaican gentleman, and uh, he roughhouses me. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Mm -hmm. And so he told me uh, the other day he was working on my legs because for whatever reason um, my legs are solid, but they're very. Uh, I have a lot of pain. Uh, not like you know, just when you know. I don't know. It's, when he hit me with that chiropractor thing. They got this, it's this thing, it's like a gun. It's like a, I don't know what it is. Anybody know what it's called? Y'all go to the Cairo? Anyway, they shoot you with this gun. <laughs> and I guess it's supposed to loosen up your muscles. Because I be having knots. I always have a knot right here because I fall asleep, leave. So I'm right here. And then, in my back, and then my legs. So he was like, your legs are very solid. I hope that you are making good use of them. That probably wasn't a good Jamaican accent. They probably sound more like probably two Americans. Oh, yeah, yeah. Anyway, but he was like, you know, I need to put used to my legs. I don't run. People always be like, you must be a gymnast when you was younger. You must have ran track. Hey, I don't do none of that. I, don't do none. I did step, but that's about it. I mean, I, I got my grandma legs. It's just genetics. But I do need to, all that whole story was, the point is I need to do more exercise, okay? So I keep telling, Kay is on a, a, a journey. You know, so uh, I'm on a lifestyle change yeah. of <clears throat> friends supposed to be my accountability partner. Right? I am her accountability partner. Accountability means that you hold them accountable. She is thinking that I'm supposed to do what she did. Not necessarily. She'll have to do what I do, but she should be as close in proximity of what I'm doing as what she is doing. She is accountable. She is a great accountability partner of what not to do. Well, no, and then you are, you're doing well because you right. are sticking to your diet. Correct. And if, if you were going to venture off, I'd be like, no, you can't do that. That's, that's holding you accountable. <laughs> Just because I need ice cream and you're not supposed to eat ice cream don't mean that I'm not a good So how is that helping? She is, 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 is I'm, I'm building up your tolerance for temptation. <laughs> so you are my, okay, all right. Yeah, it's like karate. We, supposed to, we went to a restaurant yesterday <laughs> and they ordered beignets. Ooh, it was good. Was Louisiana Bistro. Ooh, it was so good. Y'all, mm. first and foremost, I mean, love I, me. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> and I didn't have a piece. I just watched her. She did so well, though. She ate healthy. She stuck to her diet. So I'm not on a diet. I'm on a lifestyle. I'm diet. sorry, too. So, yeah, so. <laughs> I'm like, friend, let's go no walking. Bread, no cards. Let's go walking. Mm. We gonna learn Uncle Lou dance instead. We're going to learn and then we're going to do a Facebook Live back. Alright, sure so enough. wealth, health, spirituality, relationship goals, yes. love, that's important, yes. friends, family, significant others, and travel, and hobbies, which includes travel. Correct. Yeah, so those are the five things yes. that we're going to focus on. So, for the last couple of days, we have just been going through old man. I like old magazines because they got good quotes. Yes. You got, um, you got a good quote to share? Let's see. Do I have a good quote to share? I have. Let's see if I have a good quote to share. Let's see what I got. Healthy and happy. Okay, that's a good one. I have one that says, um, every second, every minute, every hour, cherish the day. Oh, I like that one. Yes. I have this one. It says fashionista, trendsetter, diva. That shit. <laughs> and that, oh, quick, quick, okay. mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> also, in addition to I have quotes, go big and born to outperform. So, in a, yeah, in addition to quotes and words, we also have some pictures. Let's share our pictures. Okay. Pictures. Okay. So, um, I am working on my masters 
Um, I started school last week, so yay. My first day of school was um, January the 11th. I am enrolled in the MAT program for education um, yes. um, in science. So I have somewhere in here, I have some pictures of a person somewhere. See, I have so much stuff. Yeah, it, it don't make no sense because I kind of went overload. But, well, somebody yeah. in the cap and gown getting their degree. So that's a part of my two-year program. So, yeah. That's going on the vision board. Uh, let me let me get close so y'all can see this. <laughs> that's going on my vision board. I land in the money, bathed in the money, honey. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to be, girl. That's what I'm trying to be. <laughs> so, also, um, some things that we were talking about uh, as far as friendships and, and relationships, I put a uh, friendship was going to go on my board, too, because I want to make sure in 2021 that I am um, building good friendships as well as making sure that I stay sane and eliminate some things in my life that are um, not you know, bringing value. So, yeah. positive energy. Yes, yeah, so friendship is also um, going to be on my board. Okay. So, also, I had got a calendar from G-Baby. I don't know if y'all heard of G-Baby. She's, uh, I want to say she's from Texas, but she's an artist, African-American artist. You might have seen some of her artwork on bags and tote bags, but she did a calendar. And so, on each month, it has a picture of an African American woman with a phrase, inspirational phrase. So it says, I am free. I am legendary. I'm a queen. Um, I am authentic. I am supreme. I am allure. I am wisdom. I am empowered. Yes. So we're gonna cut up some of them, some some of these girls on here. We're gonna put them all around because we is all of this. So I also was told um, that I needed a picture of myself. So we are kind of, we didn't have any pictures of ourselves, but I'm going to leave space for me to put a picture. Yeah. But um, as far as working on myself, I also put pictures of um, what I would like my goal weight to look like, what my goal body look like. Um, so one of the pictures I have on here is um, America's Next Top Model, Takara. I don't know if you can see her or not, but she was the... Thickest girl on um, America's Next Top Model. You know, they kind of had to find things for her to wear, whatever. But she is working with a new shape, a new body. She's got a new attitude. So those are the things that I'm going to be working on and to get my uh, temple ready. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> so, yeah. So, um... I think me and Fran were talking about a uh, vision boards the other day, and I have been um, doing some uh, Bible study uh, with one of the, the online pastors. His name is uh, Pastor Mike Todd. He is with the Transformation Church, uh, Transformation Nation. And I have been listening to some of the things about vision. So I spoke with Fran, and I was like, we should do a vision board or a vision project. She was like, yeah, well, good. They will probably be like, um, Martin Luther King Day. You know, I have a dream. I was already oh, good. So, you know, we can do, you know, our vision boards on um, I have a dream. So, um, that kind of took off in a really positive direction. So, I have been doing some studying about vision and I wanted to share some things that I um, got from you. Maybe we kind of talk about it. Sure, sure, sure. All right. So, um, one of the things that I was reading, he was saying that, um, you know, Seeing is something that you do with your eyes open. And then vision is something that you do or you see with your eyes closed. And so, um, you know, in reading um, and doing my my Bible study, it was saying that one of the scriptures was um, Proverbs 29, 18 says to write the vision and make it plain. Mm -hmm. So one of the things that we're doing today is to, we're writing our vision down, doing a vision for us so that we can see it. So that we can meditate on the things that we see on a daily basis. And make it happen, honey. Right. So, he also said, um, you know, without vision, the people perish. So, if we don't have anything to work towards, you know, we 
we get stagnant. We don't we don't go, we don't fulfill things that we really need to, or if we don't sit on a regular basis, you know, we we tend to forget the things that we don't see. And so um one of the goals is for me to I wanna be what is it, summa cum, magna cum, what is it? <laughs> One of them cum laude. Right. So that's what I want to accomplish um, in doing this program. So I'm going to make sure that's one of the things that I put on my uh, board today. Yes. Yeah, I like it the long way, too. Yes, yes. So sometimes you may think of things that are outlandish, but, you know, I mean, they may be unreachable, but I'm going to go ahead and just... Put it out anyway. Right. Um, I want to win a Grammy. <laughs> Shoot. Can I say no? But, you know, <laughs> they, uh, Obama got a Grammy for his book. Because he's spoken word. You know what I mean? I and I do spoken word. So, yeah. yeah We're going to come out with some tracks from that black lamp. And, uh, yeah. So, I'm going to speak that into existence. We're going to do some, some Nobel Prizes. Pulitzer or whatever. <laughs> We gonna do something. We gonna we gonna dream big, right? I already told y'all we gonna hit that seventeen point two five million dollars. <laughs> you know what I learned? And I don't know if this is true, but I did a consultation with a guy. Um, this is about the book, and I asked him. I was like, "What do you have to do to be a New York Times bestseller?" Right? He was like, "Oh, that that's gonna cost about thirty forty thousand dollars." And I was like. Oh, you got to pay to be a New York Times something? And he was like, well, you know, some people pay for the marketing so then they can get it, you know, the advertisement so then they can get the sales because you have to sell like over thousands of books, right? Mm -hmm. So, but that's how they do it, you know, and if, if you rich enough, then you can just promote yourself and, and you know, but I'm like, wow, I never knew that. I just thought, you know, you sold some good books and you may, I mean, I knew it was, you had to sell a lot, but I didn't know about the money factor of it all. So, yeah. So, I think uh, having money does afford you, of course, some things that people who ain't got no money might not be with you. But that's why we're just going to claim it. And, um, yeah, we're going to make it so. Right. Look at you, girl. You got love on your board, girl. I, I see you, girl. I, 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 I would like that in my life sometimes in the near future. Yes. But it has to be, you know, it has to be specific. So it says you need to have your vision to be specific. So, mm -hmm. you know, I, I'm doing it for me. And I am the type of person, like, I will do for others before I do for myself. So mm -hmm. I will, I won't do for myself, but I will do for other people. Like, I feel weird doing stuff for myself. And I know that sounds crazy, like, oh. Oh, there's I, a whole bunch of people do that. All the mamas out there that sacrifice their whole life for their children. Right, but I'm and single. And so I will put other people before I put myself. But yeah. And so this is um this is the season that I feel like I'm gonna put myself first. Yeah. And things that I really wanna do for myself, um, that's gonna be my first priority. Right. So that way I don't feel like I'm missing out on anything because I waited for somebody or I was waiting to do things. Because I was waiting for other people to invite me or let's go or whatever. So, you know, I'm starting to learn that I need to do it for you. It's right. your life. Whether it's your life. Gonna, you now, want. when it comes to travel, I'm not going to travel by myself. I'm not going to do that. You know, they be snatching people up. You know, yeah. Yeah. Right. you know, I mean, some of my friends who travel, though, they be like, oh, it's the best thing. You travel by yourself. You lose You know, I don't, I don't do all that. I don't. I, I do. I do enjoy traveling with my friends and my family, uh, but I don't want to like you know legitly travel. Yeah, I'm too scary. Um, I'm too scary, and then I'm not good with really. I did. I lost my uh, missed my flight, child, because <laughs> I did that on my way to Paris. I was traveling by myself, and I just don't do it too good, too good stuff like that. So, and then I don't. I don't. You know, some places that you go, you don't speak the language, so they can say um, anything to you. Right, and you'll be True. caught up, and I just don't do that for myself. So I would rather, you know, I would rather travel with others. Yeah. But in certain circumstances, I'm like, I don't want to go nowhere. I don't want to go their place. I don't want to go here. I don't want to go there because I don't want to go alone. Yeah. A lot of that's going to change. Okay, <clears throat> I'll be okay. So, yeah. 
Yeah, I can't. You can't wait on people sometimes because you miss out on things. All right. For sure. Yes. Like I said, this your life. We got one time to get this thing. And that's what I'm learning. You only got right. one life to live. And what right. are you doing with that life that you got? So mm -hmm. I have decided to step outside of my comfort zone and be a little bit more adventurous. Yes. Have fun. Yes. So there's no limit. So if you're like me, you know, you need to step outside your comfort zone and just, you know, carpe diem. Seize the day. Yes. Yes. So have fun and have cool experiences and learn new things. That's probably why I like to travel so much because I get to learn new things. So I'm getting to the point where I'm, I, I'm, I'm used to traveling with my family, so that's a, a difference of, you know, getting your, your, your grown lady home. You know, you, you travel with your friends and things like that, and not just family, right. but you are, you know, making memories across the board. Yes, yes, yes. Ooh. So my goal is to at least travel twice a year. That's the minimum. Twice mm -hmm. a year. Um, just to be <laughs> what are you doing? So, uh, speaking of travel, I want to take a trip to Hawaii for my fifth year. Again, that will be October 2022. Anybody want to go with me, just let me know, all right? Okay. If y'all know some good place to go, place to travel to go, you know, drop that in too. Yeah. Uh, what's your what's your your, your nose like? You, you, well, like places to, you been and you were like, uh, uh. Well, no, you said um, you want to oh. go to Hawaii. What's your stipulations? So what now? You, you said you have stipulations about if, if you go to Hawaii, you just don't want to you don't want to stay. Oh, I I, mean, I cannot. <laughs> Stay at any establishment that is owned by Donald Trump. Okay, we're not we're not doing that. I never have though. I've never been in a Trump. I think when I went, to, I went to DC, uh, they have a, a Trump Towers mm -hmm. NBC, mm -hmm. and they said, uh, "Yeah, I'm not supporting that foolishness." <laughs> so yeah, I said it. Uh -huh. But um, yeah, but anywhere else in Hawaii. Uh, if y'all, you know, one of my friends, uh, I know my BFF has been before, and she was saying, you know, that uh, Honolulu is very busy, you know, like regular kind of booming city. But she was suggesting maybe to go to Maui or maybe um, one of the other islands that's not as populated. So, you know, I've never been, I've never really done the research about it. So if any of you guys have been to Hawaii, let us know. What I should do. And then some, some people are like, oh, you should um, take a cruise. So that way, if you do a cruise, then you can see all the different islands. I like cruises. See, I don't really like cruises, though. I don't like cruises like that because I be wanting to be on the island. I just want to be chilling. But see, when you on that boat, it's like, you know, they give you like a few hours to go and look at stuff and then you gotta be back on the boat and you're gonna get boat boat lift. Well you know you can you can choose you know you can choose cruises that allow you to stay on the island a little longer. Oh okay. It don't have to be like you know hop on So you get hotel stay in that that's a lot though. No 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 Oh I mean, you just stay on the boat. The boat is the dock. Right. Oh okay. Right, right. Okay. All right well that's an option. It is an option. It is an option. Yes it is an option. So yeah, I'm putting my look. I, I ain't got no rhyme or reason on this one. I'm just, I want to put. Well, it I mean, I'm trying to put it in categories, so I kind of want to see how it's gonna look. Yeah. Before I glue down. Oh, well, that's smart. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gluing as I go. I'm gluing as I go. Yeah. I also put like power words on here. Like some of the power words I put on here is like unbreakable. Oh, I like that. You know, people try to break the spirits down. That's one other thing mm. that uh, he was saying uh, on uh, the uh, video I was watching. He was like, "You can't have, can't tell everybody a vision because everybody um, have the same vision and want the same thing for you. So you can't share your vision with everybody. So the things that you write down and you pray to God about or whatever, you can share it." But it's, it's certain people that you should share it to, um, you know, that really have your your best interest at heart. Like, they they want to see you succeed. They want to see you win. Right. So, you know, don't just go and, and, and tell your vision, everybody shout out to the work. Just people do still. 
Girl, they still out there. They will. They will. Get a chance to uh, to make it. You yeah. know, make it happen. Hey, look, girl. An opportunity. Yeah, everybody ain't for you, honey. Everybody not chill. You chill, Yeah. So um, sometimes you learn it the hard way. Yeah. For you sure. Know, that that everybody's not in your corner and it won't mm-hmm. mess for you. Right. Some of your friends ain't your friends. <laughs> so how do you do that? Like if you if you need to cut somebody off in your life, you know, how do you how do you do you cut them off cold turkey? Do you just disappear? Right. Do you just kind of fall off, disconnect their phone number, you know, block their number, you know, tell them you, you, you moved or you went to another career and you just haven't had time. Like how do you right. you know, weed them out? How do you chop them off? My mom was like, you don't have to, um, you know, tell them, I ain't going to be your friend no more. She oh, said, you don't have to do that. Oh, okay. You know, you just, you know, sometimes it just, they just fall off on their own. Yeah, true that. You know, they say some people are supposed to be in your life for a reason, season, a lifetime. Uh-huh. And sometimes we keep them in there longer than they're supposed to be. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I was, what comedian was that I was watching? What's his name? The guy who's on Blackish. He was talking about sometimes you meet somebody and it's like in your life you're on the elevator. You know, you keep rising to the top, right? And he was saying, you know, sometimes you meet somebody on the fifth floor <laughs> and you settle down with that person, but they always gonna stay on the fifth floor. You were supposed to go to the tenth floor. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? So how do you get back on the elevator? <laughs> how do you get back on? You just leave them, you leave them and Jump back on so you keep going, you know? Yeah, I was like, that's a prolific right now. <laughs> that's a word, honey. That's a word. Yes. What else? I'm going to see what else I got on here. Uh-oh. Oh, he said that vision is an action word. It's a verb. It's an action word. So it has to be on the move. You can't just let it sit. It has to be on the move. Okay. Because if it's not on the move, then, you know, it's not a forward. It's a forward word. Forward moving word. You know, if you don't put any action behind it, then it's never going to come to pass. He also said if you don't write the vision down, it doesn't exist. Mm. So, we write down things that we want to come to pass. We put things on this board that we want to come to pass. So. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, I got I gotta make a section for I think all my 
my, my high end stuff gonna be in the top. Your high end stuff. Yes. Money and power. That's what it's like. <laughs> so yeah, we haven't been out here in a real long time. You know, we we done got back to work. We had to really focus on the thing. Yes. <laughs> so we gonna get back, you know, to what we really enjoy doing, which is coming on here and just acting a fool. But, you know, this was the essential for us today that we needed to, you know, write our visions out and, and, and write out, you know, things that we see for ourselves uh, going forward in 2021. Mm -hmm. And check them off our list. Check them off our list. Right, right. So what kind of visions y'all got out there, honey? Mmm. Let's see. What we see? I'm trying to read the chat. Um, I'm gonna turn a long way around. She gonna turn a long way around. Cause I do like the first. But see, see, you see how she is in the first class seat. We gotta show the audience. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Van up. K, want y'all to see the, the white lady in the uh, first class seat with her champagne? That's how she gonna be traveling. Yes, I'm gonna be traveling first. First class. Yes. You can follow her partner. Oh, put my face on her. Oh, yes. <laughs> put your face on my girl. Yes. Yes. Put the rest on her. Yes. All right, guys. So, basically, um, again, the, the hardest part about this whole process is just going through the magazines and the newspapers. And like I said, if you don't see... What you're looking for is just type it up and print it out yourself. You know, just words of affirmation and quotes that you like. Um, you know, and just do your dream board. So when we're finished, we're going to, um, of course, post our finished products. And we may not even finish today. Sure, we might. Sure not, not. Yeah, because, you know, sometimes you can just continuously add to your board. Right. You know, as you go. So, yeah. Break that bad habit for good. Yes. Mm. Okay. Travel and leisure. <laughs> you know what? Uh, one of my friends said that they were trying to go to all the continents before they turned 50. I thought mm. that was a, a good goal. So you can do that. You got time. I ain't got time to go to all the continents. I'll be 50 in two years. <laughs> I don't make it. But I don't, I don't say that. I'm gonna hit the lotto, so I can't travel. <laughs> <laughs> y'all, if y'all hit the lotto, what would y'all do? What's the first thing you would do? Who is the first person? I ain't gonna ask you who the first person you would call. But yeah, what was the very first thing you would do if you hit that lotto? What would you do, Pat? So, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I'm working on spiritual practices, so I'll probably pay my tithes first. Okay, okay. Then I will pay off all my debt. So okay. College, to, you know, loans and credit okay. cards and stuff like that. So, I'll pay okay. those off first. That way, I don't got to worry about nothing else after that. Okay. And then, you know, just, just enjoy it yeah. after that. Just enjoy it. Well, I think the first person I need to call is uh, Felicia. Or somebody, maybe, I don't know, I need an attorney, and I'm going to need a, uh, I'm going to call Sean Howard, this is my real estate agent, because we're going to have to buy some properties up in another country. <laughs> and then I'm going to call Felicia Clayton, so she can help me get my money right. And I'm going to have to get me an accountant to get my money right, you know, because, um, Somebody told me, I don't know how true this is, but somebody told me that the bank will only insure like $200,000. Y'all know anything about that? Put a comment in the uh, comment section if you know about that. So, yeah, I guess that's why people get offshore accounts, you know, because they don't want to put all their big time money in the bank. I don't know. You know, we ain't rich. We don't know that life. But I think that's what happens when people win a lot of it and then they don't know how to manage their money. So you need to hire somebody who can manage your money for you. You know what I mean? Right. Uh, and that you trust. So, yeah. And then I got to help my people out, you know. I'm going to help some folk build some churches. 
What else we're gonna do? Today? These be uh 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 event center. Oh yeah, my trap, my trilogy event center. So it's gonna be three. It's gonna be like a church slash event center. You can get married there. You can have sorority meeting there. You have a party there. Just some rental space, you know. We don't have a lot of places like that where I stay. I know they ain't got no places like that where you stay. No. No. <laughs> they don't have those sorts of things. <laughs> Unfortunately. Yeah. Stay the pain. Because yes. life's too short for anything else. So mine is stay the path. So mm -hmm. it might get a little difficult mm -hmm. being an educator and trying to be a student at the same time. So, you know, you got to mm -hmm. stay on the path. Yes. Into the light, Carolyn. Into the light. Oh, no, it's don't step into the light. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, don't step into the light. Don't what? step into the light. Not what was she doing? Light. I think she was trying to get away from the ghost. So maybe she needs to step into the light. I found her. That that whole uh, movie was traumatizing me, so I'm not a scary movie fan. I'm not no scary movie fan either, but oh, I saw that I saw the Exorcist and I ain't going there. Ooh, child, that's just a lot. I need some more travel pictures. Ah, oh. who was that calling my house? Eat some travel. Eat some travel over there. Yes, I still have a house phone. <laughs> For those who uh, don't know. Who was the girl? Did you, did you ask? I did not. Just kind of held it up a little bit for me and just politely, just quietly put it down. The only people that got my house number is Smith and yeah. um, I think Nisi and my mom. Don't nobody call me. Somebody call you house phone. My Gucci long Nope. Nobody found on that one. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Oh, you got the phone somewhere. Where did it go? Did it go? Oh, I thought I found it out. Oh. Uh, Alright, guys. So, y'all know what to do. Um. So if you do a dream board, um, you know, post pictures of it and let us know how they turned out. Okay. So yeah, so y'all, you know, stay tuned to KM Fab because we're gonna be coming at y'all at least, you know, twice a month, if not more than that. We're gonna make sure that we uh, you know, splash y'all in five days, let y'all know how we're doing on this lifestyle journey, making this money, this travel life, you know, mm -hmm. giving y'all great tips. So if y'all needed some tips or anything like that, we are uh, available to give you guys some um, tips. But make sure, uh, the most important part is just make sure that when you do these vision boards, they're uh, obtainable goals. And you can check those things off your list so that um, you can see your accomplishments. All right. God doesn't give us vision for a reason. He wants us to reach those goals um, and to, to live most abundantly. Yeah. All right. But don't be scared to put stuff that, you know. It says, the vision's supposed to be vast. Yeah. So don't think strong. Think big. Think right. big. I told you, I, I need Pulitzer surprise Grammys. Listen, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm a... Broadway I'm a shows. Yes. Movies. Dream big. Dream big. Nothing so big for God. <laughs> go big. Go big or go home. Okay. I didn't put that for a I'm going home. Uh -uh. <laughs> The sky's the limit. I need some more pictures of places I want to travel to. I need to go back and look at them travel magazines. Mm. Yeah. But I do have my visions of Hawaii. Yay! Yeah, put that on there. Yeah. What? You know, that's, that's the, that's the cabana. Yes. Okay, I'll put the cabana. We got the beach and the sand right there for yes. you. Yes. Yes. I'll put the cabana. Yes. Alright, well I think we're going to log off. Alright, so I got all my words on here. I just need to Put them down. Okay. It's, it's very uh cluttered a little bit, but okay. I'm gonna go in and you wanna show it to them? I ain't gonna show it to them. Oh, I'm gonna see if it's down for this. It's upside down. Let me show them from your your perspective. <laughs> All right, so that's what Kay got. 
So it is, it is um chaotic right now. But <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like the little lady on the fix it up right there. Vacation. Yes, mode. yes. That's, that's, that's this is my travel corner. Okay. This is my good love corner. You know, some okay. love goals. That's my oh. what I what I envision my little life. Oh, be. you know, you and in the two boo. years I might be married, but you know, okay. I'm, I'm speaking into existence, honey. You know, it's dating. Speak right it. Now. Mm -hmm. It's dating. And then, you know, in the middle is that vision, school mm -hmm. vision, and, you know, mm -hmm. positive words. Okay. Then this is my uh my life journey, my mm -hmm. uh goals for myself, what okay. I want to do. And then, you know, I'm in there, my little uh, brown skin girl. She yeah. is, you know, writing a vision, make it plenty. Cute. So I'm going to make sure I put pictures of myself on here. Cute. And, um, you know, make it happen. Very good. I'm going to over to you. Okay, well, I, I don't <laughs> cool about y'all, boy. <laughs> so, for mine, I really, I'm trying to figure out the order as I go. So, right here, I got my travel and leisure section, um, which is also going to be tied to the money. Get that money, get the bling bling, all the stuff you want. And then I have a whole, in the middle of that, I have my artistry. So you see the paint brushes, you know, the arts, you see the books. So the poetry, you know, that's what we're going to have there. And then these are my awards that Grammy or, you know, Emmy, whatever that is. Um, and then just some positive words, you know, healthy and happy. Uh, and then this is my little girl sitting on the books. Can y'all see my little girl? Isn't she cute? I got ATL in there. That's my Black Atlanta. I'm going to have some other things with my other books down here. And because, because life's too short for anything less. That's my little quote. And so, yeah. So, it's a work in progress. I think by the end of maybe the week, I'll have it together. We'll post it. Yeah, we'll post it. So, yeah. All right. Hey. Uh, uh. Y'all see I done dyed my hair black. And mine's Corona. <laughs> Her blonde ponytail. Hey. It's K and mm -mm. And we in the lab. We, we might, might be cooking. Or doing some arts and crafts. Hey. Y'all have a great week. Until next time. Mm -hmm. Holla. <laughs>